Hi guys, welcome to the second video in the MGY coding series. Today we're gonna make a simple introduction. We're gonna open the source, compile it and create a window. And from the next video, we will actually start <coughs> explaining stuff. We're gonna start explaining options and how to make all kinds of different cool things with MGY. So let's get started with a bit of basics and explaining and I'll get to more complicated stuff later. So in our MGY master here, we have a folder named examples. Now in later videos, I will show you how to include MGY in your own project. But for now, until we learn about it, um, we're going to work on an example we have here. <clears throat> So we're going to double click examples. You see, we have a bunch of them here and we're going to open the IMGUI example solution file here, double click, and it will open in Visual Studio, which you should have installed if you watch the first video. If not, go watch that first. And we're going to wait for it to open. Now, if it shows something with retarget projects, this is because you have a 142 platform installed so you can keep it on 142 and click OK. IMGY uh, works fine on 142 as well. Now we're going to work on one of these DirectX examples. I recommended either DirectX 9 or DirectX 11 and we're going to work on DirectX 11. It's not that big of a difference because we're only working with IMGY now not with implementing it anywhere but Open uh, Win32 DirectX 11, go to Sources and open Main CPP by double clicking it. Now, before it's, we start doing anything, go here where it says Debug and choose Release, and here where it says Win32 and choose X64. We'll no longer be able to debug your application this way, but it's better for performance. If you want to debug, you're going to switch back to Debug. All right, there is a lot of things. There are a lot of things here and I will explain most of them in the tutorial uh, later because they're complicated stuff. But for now, we just need to go through the main things. So here, basically, we create the Windows a window. Here we show and update the window. And here, IMGY set up itself. You can see you have a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, comment lines added if you want to read about them. But the main thing that happens, your windows are inside the while loop here. This happens every tick, basically 20 times a second, and everything that is here uh, will show in the window. So let me actually show you. First of all, let's start by deleting the demo window because we don't need it for now. And we can also delete everything here because I want to explain everything. So you don't actually need here. You can delete everything from a dash dash two and dash dash three. So delete these windows. And after you implemented a new frame here and before render, you can create your windows here. So in order to create another window, we're going to use if an if statement and we're going to use I'm GUI begin and after that you're going to see it asks for a few arguments but only one of them is needed the name the others are optional so we can give it a title if we want and let's say we have test title why not and then we're going to open brackets now a very important thing you should do so you don't forget, after the last bracket, where you end the IMGUI begin, you need to type IMGUI end, so the program knows the window is ended. And if you want to have more windows after it, uh, they do not interfere with each other. So right now we have a test window. And in order to build this, uh, if you go here and click build, it will build all projects and that's a massive waste of time because we only work on the DirectX 11 one. So go in your right here, right click on DirectX 11 and click build. That way you only build this one. Wait for it to build. You should not have any errors. 
if you have any please tell me in the comments and i'll help you fix them so click on example win32 directx11 go to release and here you have example win32 directx11 exe open this and as you can see we have a window here which we can play around with it a bit but let's say we want that window to have a size we said before for that we're going to use i'm gy double dot double dot set next window size and if you hover it you see it asks for a constant i'm vector 2 size basically i'm vector 2 which we'll type here and then parentheses after because i'm vector 2 also requires some arguments is a structure that has only two values x and y those are sizes or coordinates that depends on what you use them for so here in i'm vector 2 if we pick up you, we have an x and a y and let's say the x is the length the y is the no the x is the width and the y is the height so let's say we want our um our window to be a square then we're going to use 500 and then 500 500 for x 500 for y and right now if we build it again don't forget to build it from here we will see that the window is now 500 by 500 we can no longer resize it because every time the window begins this will also execute if you want to still be able to resize it and set it just one time you can delete the next and only use set window size but if you want to have a set size we're going to use set window size also the what i want to explain to you is that the imgui window can also have few flags here so we can use the bold p open set that to true here because it asks for a ball set the bold p open to true and after that oh actually no set it to null i believe yeah set it to null and after that you see you have a optional argument named I'm guy window flags. These are some flags that can tell the window some specific characteristics. So by example, if we run this again right now, you see it has a title, you see it can collapse and you see it can resize. But what if you just don't want to let people resize? Well, you're gonna type I'm GY window flags because we're talking about the window flags there are a bunch of flags for other things but we need to refer to window flags then underscore and now you have a bunch of window flags so let's say you don't want somebody to be able to resize for that you're going to type no resize and that's it if we now build it with the angy uh, window flags no resize here and open it as you can see the resize button disappeared and you cannot resize it anymore <clears throat> now let's see you want more flags you're gonna type a uh, um, vertical line like this and after that you can type another flag so on gy window flags let's say no collapse Let's build it again. And this will make our window not being able to collapse it again. Wait, I'll just enter it. My YouTube folders. I'm GI Master. Examples. We work on the DirectX 11 release. As you can see, we cannot collapse our window anymore. The button is not there. And so on. We can remove the title bar or set some specific characteristics on our window. So this was the video thank you a lot for watching i hope you got the basics with creating a window and next video i'll start explaining the option types the balls the checkboxes the buttons floats uh, ints sliders and so on so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and join on my discord server if you like what i do and want to support me and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great great day